Flames take a 38-19 loss here today at Terre Haute, Indiana against Indiana State. And the Sycamores now run their record to 3-1. and one. Liberty's three-game win streak comes to an end. And this one came down to just what Coach Gill said it was earlier this week. Whoever ran the football better was going to win this football game. And Indiana State certainly did that. 468 yards total of offense today. The Sycamores on the ground, 128 yards rushing. Liberty, on the other hand, only averaged one and a half yards per carry and really struggled to get any sort of offensive, offensive consistency going here today, also along with four turnovers for the Flames this afternoon. Had a chance to talk to Coach Gill after the football game, and the biggest difference was that the Flames just got beat on the line of scrimmage up front. Uh, they just flat out beat us. Uh, their defensive line was better than our offensive line today, and uh, you know they got after us, and you got to give credit to them. Uh, they were the better football team today. I feel like offense, we missed a couple of t drives and a couple of plays where we should have capitalized on turnovers and position of the field, so we had missed opportunities in offense. That, that first half, they gave us gave us some things that we, we didn't um, account for, but after halftime, we got them figured out and, and came out, and you, I mean, we saw what we did in the second half is defensively as we stopped them and uh, got turnovers. Uh, our, our guys didn't play our best football game, and uh, we got to be able to respond, and uh, uh, we will. We will. Our coaches get coached them up, and we'll be ready to play this next week. And, you know, again, to God be the glory either way. Flames also had to deal with several injuries today, specifically to their linebacking core. They lost Nick Sigmund and Jimmy O'Grady with undisclosed injuries, both within a span of about three plays there in the first half. Neither one of them would return to the football game. Both went to the locker room for further evaluation. Also, Todd Macon a little bit banged up, uh, lower leg or a limb injury for him. He was hobbling around on the sidelines, uh, did not return after he was uh, dinged up as well. So the Flames have some injury issues that they'll have to deal with this year. Coach Gill said after the game it'd be 24 to 48 hours before anyone knew specifically how severe or how long those injuries may beset those key players. So Flames certainly hope to get things turned around for next week. They've got a very good Richmond football team coming off of a bye week this week. They'll be ranked and coming into Lynchburg next Saturday for homecoming at 7 o'clock inside Williams Stadium. Flames will try to get it turned around then. Hope to see you back out at the Bill next Saturday for homecoming. From Terre Haute, Indiana, I'm Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.